Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Crosswatchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. I also have a Leo-only channel, a Virgo-only channel. All my channels are listed below. Recommended readers are below. Decks used are below. I do a monthly giveaway, um, so you'll see a list of everything that I give away below. Just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe click that notification bell to enter a chance to win. Um, what else? That's it. So guys, uh, readings can be vice versa. So flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. These are general, obviously. So if it's not your story, um, it could be energy in or around you. So someone you know might be going through this, okay? All right, let's get popping. So Cancer, we're going to start with your person, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Please, Spirit, with Cancer's person, please. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, tell me about Cancer's person, please. Tell me about Cancer's person, please. Tell me about Cancer's person, please, Spirit. Cancer's person, please. Very weird feeling. Okay, Five of Swords. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, apart from what we're about to read just now, I feel like some of you had a dream. You may have thought it was a nightmare, but there was a very important message in that dream. Okay, I just so and if you haven't had the dream yet, make sure you keep pen and paper by your bed because you may end up waking up in the middle of the night. You might want to jot it down so you remember the details in the morning. There's going to be a dream and there's going to be a very important message for you in that dream. Okay, anyways, so we've got the five of swords, the two of pentacles in the reverse. We have the four of wands. We've got the six of wands. Tell me about Cancer's person. Tell me about Cancer's person. We've got the Two of Wands and we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so Cancer, for some of you, this could be a long distance relationship. Okay, yeah, see, look, the Three of Wands here. Some of you uh, could have be in a, a, a world of... A world listen to me a long distance relationship three of wands nine of pentacles eight of swords two of cups and the world card okay the tower and the ace of wands you may be finding your per okay so your person i don't know I, I mean so the two of pentacles in the reverse it's almost like someone here was undecided someone here was undecided and then they said screw it i'm just gonna do it Okay, screw it. I'm just going to do it. I know this is the one. I know this is my person. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. Now, for those of you where it is long distance travel, this person's going to do it. They're going to come towards you. You're going to go towards them, whatever the case may be. This person knows that, you know, they've met the one. They can't stop. Like someone here is just in love. Like they're like, I can't stop thinking about this person. I'm in love. I'm just going to go do it. And with the tower and the ace of wands, it's literally like, ta-da, here I am. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just going to happen very quickly and very suddenly. And it's just going to happen. Okay. Like someone here is moving to be with you. Now, for those of you who are like, no, my person doesn't live far away, then that just simply means that if you've been separated from this person or have, if things have been very up and down with this person, it just means that they're going to come in and they're really going to come in and, and stay. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, the cycle's over, that there's a, a new chapter to this connection that's about to start. And this person has finally come to terms with the fact that they are in love with you. I mean, we've got the Hierophant here. Um, you know, this could lead to marriage. Okay, this could lead to something very long-term cancer. So tell me about Cancer's person, please. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles in the reverse. We've got the Four of Cups. And the king of swords aquarius gemini libra energy so cancer your person may have gone quiet for a minute okay they, they're quiet right now it may appear that they don't want you or it may appear that they were cutting you off but that's because this person was in the process of making a decision they were in the process of making a decision 
this is very interesting cancer we've got the five of cups temperance and the king of pentacles um i feel like for some of you i don't know who this is going to resonate with but it's almost like someone's like i i hope this person will forgive me king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy temperance a sagittarian energy i hope this person can forgive me so if it is, you know, moving overseas or long distance, it could be that someone's hoping that their father will forgive them. Maybe someone's leaving a high level of commitment, a husband or a wife to be with you. Um, do you see what I'm saying? It's like, I hope this person can forgive me someday because they've been good to me. They've whatever, but I hope they forgive me one day. Tell me about the five of swords and the moon. Yeah, no one even knows this is happening. Cancer, Piscean energy. I don't even think that your person is going to tell you that this is happening. Okay, um, this is someone that's just going to pop up. Tell me about the six of swords, excuse me, six of wands, not six of swords. Um, the seven of wands and the knight of pentacles. This is somebody, this is something that was moving very slow, Cancer. This is something that was moving super slow. They always had excuses as to why they couldn't commit or why they couldn't move or why this or why that. It's it's like they all of a sudden they're like, you know what? I'm ready to go. So whether it's a it's a move like a like a physical move or it's just, you know, someone here that was stuck and didn't want to move towards higher levels of commitment, now they're ready to do it. Um, four of wands and the ace of cups i'm telling you cancer someone here may be either finding a new home cancer or like closer to you or it could be that this person's coming in with their whole heart wanting look at this ten of cups oh this is just getting crazy now okay it could be here that someone's just coming in saying listen you have my heart and that i want you and only you whatever we have to do we're getting married we're living happily ever after tell me about the six of swords and the six of cups now, this could be cancer that someone here is leaving the past behind, leaving an ex behind. It could be that someone's leaving a baby mama, baby daddy behind. It could be that someone's leaving their parents behind. Someone's leaving their childhood home behind, okay? And again, with the hanged man, the nine of cups and the justice card, this could be an energy of, you know what, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and I'm just going to do it because it feels right and I love this person and it's the right thing to do. Okay, so it's like, you know, this it's like they're just in this energy of I'm going to do it. Tell me about the two of wands. And mind you, for those of you moving, for those of you where your person is moving, it's not an easy decision because this could be that they have children where they're, they're, that they're leaving children behind, they're leaving family behind, their childhood home behind. You know what I'm saying? Seven of Pentacles and the two of wands. Tell me about the seven of Pentacles and the two of wands. And the three of swords. Oh, Cancer, what's going to happen here? Okay, so it's either one of two. Th oh, Cancer. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so this is one of two things are going to happen here. Okay, there was either there's either two people in the picture and one person here. There's a history with this person is going to get hurt, is going to get hurt. So it's either that your person is hurting someone else to come towards you, okay? Or it could be that last minute, last minute, this person is all ready to go, knight of swords, ready to rush out the door, and then they're like, yep, never mind, with that four of pentacles. Yeah, see, look, the strength card and the fool card. They were about to walk out the door, and then they're like, nope, I think I'm going to pull back. Oh, cancer we've got the eight of cups the devil and the ten of swords i'm telling you it could be that this person was going to come and last minute they lied it's like i don't i don't want to say quite frankly that they lied because this wasn't like an intentional thing it's not like they were lying about they were in seriously and had the intent to come or to do this but then out of nowhere they pulled back okay so that could go in two different ways cancer if this involves a move it could be that they're moving and then suddenly pull back or it could involve two different people and someone here was saying you know to one person yeah we're gonna move in together we're gonna do all of these things we're gonna have a future together and then boom all of a sudden they pull back to move towards this person okay oh boy so let's see what we have here on this side cancer let's see what we have on this side Tell me about, oh, my hair's getting stuck. Tell me about cancer, please. How's cancer doing in all of this? 
Okay, we've got the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Death card. Scorpionic energy. The Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. <clears throat> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Two of Cups. Cancer. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles, Cancer. Cancer, I feel, okay, let me go back to this side real quick. It was two different people. Both of the stories that I said were correct, both of them. There was two different people. You're the person that got hurt. You're the person that got hurt. And it was because this person had an ex that was willing to come back around towards them. They had an ex that either lived far away and was willing to move back for them. Or they had an ex that said, you know what, I'm going to leave my husband, leave my wife, leave whatever, and I'm going to be with you. And we're going to have a new beginning. And then this person pulled back. Do you understand? So they ended up hurting you and this person hurt them. So now this king of swords energy, okay, this king of swords energy here is coming back towards you with an apology. Okay, they're apologizing for ending things with you. This person may have switched up on you very quickly like that. And that's because they got a message from this past person that this person was either ready to commit to them or that they were going to move closer. Okay. Now with that page of pentacles, they're going to come in as a friend first, like, Hey, can we talk? And then it's going to move into a more romantic conversation where, Hey, can we reconcile with the eight of pentacles here? They want to try to work on the connection, but cancer make no mistake. They're trying to come back to have a relationship with you, but this person is still suffering over the betrayal. They're still suffering that they've been left out in the cold by this six of cups. Okay. Let's see here. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Cancer, this person did not feel the same way about you. They, they breadcrumbed you, the whole relationship. Tell me about the Death card and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, they switched up on you real quick. And that's because they were lying, cheating, or still harboring feelings for this past person. They were still harboring feelings for this past person. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Tell me about the Two of Cups and the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. Cancer, now, now, now they're like, oh, you're the one, Cancer. I know now that you're the one for me and I want to come in. I want to reconcile. I want to have babies with you. Uh, marry me and do whatever. Look at this. We've got the emperor and the seven of cups. Okay, the emperor and the seven of cups. <sighs> Cancer, this is somebody that's going to create an illusion that you and them are emperor and empress. Okay, the imaginary emperor and empress. That's what this person's going to come in and tell you. Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Sun. Uh, Cancer, your intuition is telling you that something's not right here. There, you're there. It's telling you that there's competition. It's telling you that your 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 intuition is going to go nuts when this happens. Your thoughts are just going to be like all over the place because you know that something isn't right here. Okay, you know that something isn't right here. This person's going to come in telling you that you guys are empress emperor energy it's with the seven of cups it's not true tell me about the eight of pentacles and the full card they're gonna try to get you to trust them again cancer okay they're gonna try to get you to trust them again with the high priestess the knight of wands and the ten of pentacles you may know that this person's rushing in just because you're financially stable okay um your intuition is telling you, though, with that Ten of Pentacles and that Knight of Wands, that this is someone non-committal. This is someone that they say, they're they saying they want long-term commitment, but they could turn on you in a moment. They'll dip on you in a heartbeat. Tell me about the Lover's card 
and the four of pentacles. Oh, cancer, this person's holding on to some, yeah, see, they're holding on to a truth. They're holding on to a truth, okay? They're holding on a truth. They're not telling you the, the full truth here. They're not telling you the full truth. And the full truth is, is that this six of cups here abandoned them. This six of cups ghosted them. This six of cups woke up at 6.30 on a Tuesday and said, yeah, I'm getting in the car now to leave and then never picked up the phone again. That's what happened. Okay, that's what happened. What else do we need to know? Page of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you see, there was communication here where someone was supposed to start a new beginning. They got in someone's head. They got in someone's head that they were going to have this new beginning. Whether, again, whether it was a physical move, Cancer, or whether it was, I'm ready now to be with you. I'm leaving my husband, I'm leaving my wife, I'm leaving my boyfriend, I'm leaving my girlfriend, I'm ready to be with you. It was either one of those two things. You know, I'm either moving close to you or I'm ready to commit to you now. One of those two things. And with the Queen of Swords and the Devil, this person just cut them off. They just cut them off. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Did your person know that there was a chance this might happen? Five of Wands in the reverse. <sighs> okay, here's what I want to say, Cancer. With the Five of Wands in the reverse and the Eight of Swords. When I say that the Six of Cups cut your person off, what I mean by that is like literally they didn't even give your person, they didn't even give this King of Swords a chance to fight back or to argue back. Like it's not like they called at 630 and said, you know, listen, you know, I, I wanted to leave, but I'm really getting worried. What about work? What about this? Is this the right decision? Like they didn't even give the King of Swords a chance with that Five of Wands energy to fight for it to fight for what they wanted do you see what i'm saying and that's really what's in this person's head the most why did they just cut me off like that why didn't they just at least talk to me about it so we could have had a little debate here and, and compromise do you understand what i'm saying it's like they didn't even they didn't even say a word and that's what really gets this person the most like they didn't even give me a reason they didn't give me anything okay so cancer we are going to take this into the extended okay we're going to find out what's happening with this past person we're going to find out what's happening with this reconciliation is it worth for you to reconcile with this person uh, you know is this ex really out of the picture where this person's willing to give you their full heart now or is this person going to remain sprung on this ex will they always turn on you for this past person Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull, we're going to take it into the extended, but I'm going to pull some Oracle first, Cancer, okay? Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. We have spiritual growth. Tell me about Cancer, please. And we have Wallflower. So Cancer, during this time that you have been waiting for this person to come back, you have actually ascend, uh, ascended spiritually, whether you know it or not. We've got surrender to the divine. I feel like you stopped caring, Cancer. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. You just kind of let it go and said, you know, I'm going to let it go. And if it comes back to me, then it's meant for me. I'm, I'm done trying to control the situation. We have true love. Yeah, you're like, if they really love me, then, you know, they'll be back. I don't know what to tell you. We've got loyal heart. And we've got strategy. Interesting. I feel like, Cancer, your strategy is I'm going to remain loyal to this person. I'm not going to control. I'm just going to, it's kind of like be still and know that I am God. That's where you're at right now here, Cancer. You're just standing still. You're not going to go out there and post things on social media. You're not sleeping with everybody. You're not, your strategy here is to sit, wait, be loyal and surrender. I don't know if you've given yourself a time frame. Maybe, uh, 
maybe three or four weeks. Maybe you said, I'm going to wait for three or four weeks and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happens after that happens. The number 35 may mean something to you. Tell me about cancer, please. We have inner child. Check in with your inner child and have fun. And we have tea parties, social gatherings, and fun events. So, Cancer, I do I do feel like you're going to be invited to a lot of things. I don't know if you're going, though. In the stars, life is an alignment, favorable outcome. Is Spirit telling you that there's going to be a favorable outcome if you go to these events? Because I don't really feel like you're, you're going out. I'm going to be honest with you. People pleaser habits. And we need to talk ASAP. <sighs> well, Cancer, when this person comes back saying that they want to talk to you, you're automatically going to go because you hate to say no to anybody. Okay? I feel like Spirit's telling you you're going to have a favorable outcome if you go out. But I don't know what that's about just yet. We've got Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. We've got girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. Yeah, Cancer, I feel like Spirit is telling you to start going out. Stop sitting home. Epiphany, realizations, understandings, and awakenings. And then sidetrack, delays, distraction, and change. So, Cancer, I feel like, you know, you you know that this person got sidetracked. You know that this person switched up on you because there was something else going on. You know that for a fact. For a fact. You're you're that's you're not being fooled when it comes down to that. We've got the lady. We've got the rider. They're coming towards you. And we've got the fox. You know they're lying, Cancer. You know this person can't be trusted. You know they can't be trusted. You just know it. We've got occupation. We've got gift. And we've got, yeah, you're not going to expect it. I feel like you waited for three or four weeks maybe for this person to come back and then you started going out. You started going out, you started moving on, and then when they come in to talk to you, because you can't say no to this person, you go and talk to them. But you know. As soon as you meet up with this person, you're going to you're going to feel it. Your intuition is going to tell you that this person has been somewhere else. OK, and you know that whatever they come to tell you is a lie. They're coming in with an apology and it is going to be unexpected because maybe they've been away for some time. We've got journey. We've got high honor. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. And then we've got thoughts. This could also be the person that's saying, hey, listen, I want to work this out. This could be this up here, too. This could be someone saying, listen, I'm going to move towards you or I want to commit to you. I want to make you my person. Do you see what I'm saying? We've got thoughts and coffin. Yeah, you see what I'm saying, Cancer? So this could be your person. It could be that, you know, this per this King of Swords energy up here got an offer of, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna start working on moving. Um or I'm moving out of my person's house and I'm going to have to move in with you. Do you see what I'm saying? I do feel like there's a move somewhere. So even if this person doesn't live far away, they may be living with their person and they may say, okay, I'm going to have to move in with you because I'm going to break up with them. Okay. I'm going to give you the honor of being my person. And with thoughts and coffin cancer, here they are thinking about you and how they have to end things with you. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, see lovers, maybe for a portion of the time they kept this as a third party situation, but then they knew that they had to make a, a, a choice. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, he said, and well, they had to make a choice because now they have the opportunity to get everything that they've wanted. And they've been waiting for this past person to come back. They've been waiting for that past person to go. All right, we got to go dig into this. I, I also want to know what happened with this past person, why they said, why they shut your person down. Okay. All right, so the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much, and I'll see you soon. Take care.